so we have done speaking writing and reading and now we are at the last part of your pt test which is listening considered as the easiest one it is but when it comes to spelling students definitely lose points but i am going to tell you some good tips and tricks that can actually help you to improve and listening gives lots and lots of points to your writing portion as well listening gives a pro 60 to 65 points to your writing section so make sure if speaking is the brain then listening is the backbone of your pte test listening has got eight portions with it summarize spoken text multiple choice multiple answers highlight correct summary multiple choice single answer select missing word fill in the blanks highlight incorrect words write from dictations and listening gets marks from other portions which is repeat sentences and read a lecture from your speaking section that we have discussed before as well. Summarize spoken text. The very first section of your PT test is uh, for PT listening test is summarize spoken text. Number of questions you will be getting is 1 to 2. Marks 25 out of which writing gets 12 and listening gets 13. So what you basically have to do in there is you will have to listen to audio and you have to write a summary of the main points in the audio. The audio is 60 to 90 seconds long and you will get 10 minutes to write the summary with the word count of 50 to 70 words. As the lecture will be played, you have to listen it carefully. Make sure you understand the lecture and you have to note down some phrases and keywords from it. After writing the phrases and keywords, you have to form a summary using the template which I am going to share you. If you are using any other, that's also good but make sure you use proper content. You get proper content. Word count is 50 to 70 words and time is 10 minutes. Each word is of two marks here because some marks goes to or half marks goes to your listening and half goes to your writing let's look at the example for summarize spoken text so you can see on my screen read the instructions first you will hear a short lecture write a summary for a fellow student who have was not present at the lecture you should write it in 50 to 70 words the recording is there it's of 1 minute and 25 seconds it can be short and long both there's a transcript given transcript won't be given you have to listen to the recording and frame the summary which i have framed for you all you can see there is a summary written i have taken some keywords from the recording matches the transcript you can see the first line of the template is a noteworthy point revealed in the discourse was about screen tracks and track pulling apart so you can see here tracks pulling apart so this was a keyword here if i move to next keyword which was my next keyword you can see here steel tracks that's the another keyword another we have got to elaborate further there was some information on neutral temperature hot summer days and frigid winter nights. You can see I wrote phrases, keywords, which are meaningful. That is actually going to help you. So you can see the keyword that was main keyword in inverted commas and these hot summer days, another keyword, frigid winter nights. Again, the main keywords I wrote. A considerable amount of significance was laid on extreme temperature and jam from snowfall. So it was, uh, now you can see jam, from snowfall another keyword and snowfall is done then i have written additionally a vital point was gas pad heaters switch points and gates of hell you can again see the keywords are out phrases again the lecture provides crucial details about ro railroad engineers again the keywords what else you can choose is like various sports this i have written you can write burn beside the tax stay warm pull apart the joints, steel contracts. So you can use these kinds of keywords. Good keywords means good score in your listening with good spellings is your good score in your writing portion. Good spelling errors, no spelling errors should be there. If you got spelling error, that means you will be losing points in there. So this was an example for summarize written text. Let's see the marks here. So you can see 10 on 10. 
marking criteria content the number one this comes to how well you have listened the summary your note taking skills gives course to your summary and make sure you have the main topic which word is repeating again and again is your content the highest scoring responses clearly summarizes the main points and re references to the essential points you should have the supporting points as well you got main idea main topic and then you have to write down the supporting details as well form next criteria it means your word count make sure you write the summary in between 50 to 70 words not exceeding anything grammar third criteria you have to make sure that the grammar structure is correct don't try to write overly or verb just make sure that you write simple sentences don't write complicated sentences and you write only that spelling for which you are 100 percent sure check the grammar nouns adverbs everything i have explained you some of the grammar rules in reading filling the blanks too simple sentences without errors are good enough to get you a high score vocabulary your summary must include a wide range of vocabulary you should have more academic words and make sure that they have proper meaning use synonyms don't repeat the words not at all but if you have less words or less contents then you can to avoid the situation but try not to repeat the words spelling spellings are the important points if you write more than two spellings incorrect then completely the spellings will be incorrect so you have to make sure the spellings are properly fine another thing steps to follow number one step is listen and note down as much as information you can listen and understanding the thing properly make sure you understand what the content is about you are not writing the simple keywords or one one keywords you should have phrases or keywords like i told you in retail lecture as well it should not be picture it should be beautiful picture second you have to plan after noting down you have to plan okay which word or which phrase is going to fit and which is going to be written in a proper grammar structure third begin to write your summary but don't repeat all the information word for word shouldn't be there it should be proper and structured organized last review and edit your errors so make sure after writing the complete summary you cross check proofreading is the most important thing in your summarized spoken text number one is make sure you have the tips for summarize spoken text number one develop an effective note taking strategy you should have good note taking strategies writing phrases keywords which are meaningful will help you to get the score second focus on the main idea of the lecture you should have that word third paraphrasing them effectively is the way to gain extra point you can change a bit but not much write as it is whatsoever you can keep your grammar simple write a structured response there should be an intro line example and conclusion in there and refer to the recording material only do not bring any kind of outside information avoid including the unnecessary information and make sure you keep track of time and the word count that is actually going to help you now we are going to do multiple choice choose multiple answer the second thing you have seven seconds to read the question and various answers listen to the recording which will be 40 to 90 seconds choose the most suitable answers so what is in there basically in multiple choice you will get one to two questions there will be a question given on the screen and each question will have three to four options with it you have to listen to the given recording and find out the exact answer answer for the question from the recording answer can be more than one it has to be because the question says choose multiple answers but you have to select only one because there is negative marking in this portion by selecting one we will be on the safer side so select only one there another thing you don't spend much time on this if you are thinking that i'm not getting the answer just select option c and move forward you don't need to spend much time at the last i'll tell you which sections are important from this let's see choose multiple answer i have done to show you the negative marking how it works so the recording will be played a question will be asked 
and the options will be given to you. You have to find out the answers from the recording. So you will be selecting more than one response here, but there is a negative marking to highlight that I have done it incorrect. You can see I selected one correct, one incorrect. So it has selected, it has given me zero. Why? Because I selected one incorrect. It is a negative marking. So make sure you, I was sure for this, I selected this, but I guess this as well. So make sure you don't do that. Select one for which you are 100% sure and then it's all done. Highlight correct summary. Number of questions you will be getting is one, two, two. And marks one per each. There will be two questions in your exam. What is in there basically? Some paragraphs on the screen will be highlighted and a recording will be played. You have to tell or you have to write down or you have to take that which best paragraph relate best to the recording so you have to tell that which paragraph is best suitable for the recording you have to choose one option this gives course to your reading 0.5 not much and if you don't get the answer just select option c let's do an example for highlight in highlight correct summary read the instructions you will hear a recording. Click on the paragraph the best relates to the recording. You can see a recording was played. It's the transcript. It won't be given to you. You have to listen the recording and you can see there are four paragraphs or four sentences given. You have to tell which of the paragraph relates best to the recording. I have selected one and I have achieved one on one in there. So this is all about highlight correct summary. You don't need to spend much time in there. Make sure. You do it in once. If you know the answer, go for it. If you don't know, just select option C. That's more than enough. Another part. Multiple choice, choose single answer. Similar to multiple choice, multiple answer. What is in there? There will be a question given and it will have some answer options with it. You have to select one suitable answer. The answer will be from the recording given. There will be a recording given. You have to find out the answer of the question from the recording given. Recording can be of 30 to 60 seconds, but the answer is only one. The score is either one or zero, correct for one. And make sure you don't spend much time on this if you get the answer it's good if you don't just select option c this is also the no important task you don't need to spend much time on it let's look at the example for choose single answer read the instructions first listen to the recording and answer the multiple choice questions by selecting the correct response only one response is correct so you will be listening to an audio, a recording, and you have to find out the answer of this question. There will be no transcript given to you. I'm highlighting this because of the example. You can see there were some options given. I listened to it and I selected one response only. This is the way you have to do it. You have to select one response. Don't spend too much time on it. You need to select just one response. Select option C and move forward. As they are not more important. Next, select missing words. You will see that there is a recording given and some words will be given below. You'll see some words written in it. The recording will be played, but the end word of the recording will be missed. There will be, it will be replaced by a tone. And you have to tell uh, from the words given, which word will help to complete the recording. You have to choose that word from there. You will get one point for one correct answer, otherwise zero. Don't spend much time on this as well. If you know the answer, do it. If you don't know, select option C. Let's do an example for select missing word. Read the instructions first. Reading instructions very, very carefully. You will hear a recording about a topic. At the end of the recording, the last word or group of words has been replaced by a B. Select the correct option to complete the recording. A transcript will be not there, but a recording will be played and the word will be missing. It will be replaced by a B. You have to select the word out of these which is going to help you to complete the recording i selected second and it was completed you can see the after a far there was a beep sound and i completed it another the next important part is fill in the blanks number of questions you will be getting is one to two in your exam and there will be a recording played 
the recording will be having a transcript and the transcript will be given below that transcript will have several blanks that you need to fill by hearing that audio clip of the same transcript and you have to find out or you need to type the missing word in there it is a 14 point 7 points goes to your listening and 7 points goes to your writing your score depends on how well you complete the text by filling up the blanks for each word you type correctly you will get one point in there you will not get any credit point if you did not fill that but make sure you fill the words but make sure the spelling should be correct let's do an example for listening filling the blanks we will be listening to the audio i will be typing the words after but first i'll be writing them down on my notepad okay. now i have written some of the words on my notepad now i will be typing them down Once I have done, I'll check the spellings, all done, verify, and it's all done. So this is the way you have to do your listening, filling the blanks. You need to make sure that you cross-check your work after writing, check grammar, like after an, I need a vowel word. There has to be ing. After two, we need verbs first form. So no ed, no ing. Use grammar, collocations, everything, and cross-check your work after writing. I'm going to tell you some tips and tricks for before listening, after listening and during listening. Number one, before listening the blank, make sure you skim the text, identify the proper nouns, not repetition. Always see what is the text about, where you need to fill the proper nouns, where the letter can be capital. During the listening, make sure your cursor is on the blank. And it is moving along the recording. When the speaker is speaking, speak the same transcript in your head by reading. And make sure your cursor is moving along with the recording. And make sure spelling, you are more focused towards spellings and no blanks left, left empty. You will have a notepad in your exam. Make sure you write down the answers on the notepad first and then you transfer it to the computer. After listening, make sure you cross-check your word. Do not jump to next. Proofread your work. That will actually help you. Some strategies I am going to tell you. Number one, spelling and grammar definitely help you. So you have to make sure that you work properly on spellings and check grammar as well. Sometimes I have seen students after A, they are writing plural. But after A, we need a singular. After has, have, they write ing but it has to be ed form so grammar and spellings make sure you check it make guess if you are unsure about a word make sure you write a word there correct spelling should be there if you are writing incorrect you won't get any point and collocations make sure you learn the collocations if you are practicing make sure you list the spellings you learn them by heart that can actually help you regular listening habit make sure you have daily habit of listening to a podcast or ted talks anything or you can practice 10 to 15 fill in the blanks every single day that can actually help you to improve your spellings and do best in your listening filling the blanks Another thing we have highlight incorrect words. Number of questions you will be getting is two. Mark 16.9 and listening 7.9, reading 8.9. This is very important question, guys. What is in there? In this section, you will hear a recording and you will have its transcript. The words, some of the words will be different from the original audio and you have to select them. Your task is to find out the mistakes. The transcript will have different word and the audio will speak different word and you have to click that. And you have 10 seconds to skim the text. You can check what is in there, what it is about and every recording will be of 30 to 90 seconds. You have to be very, very careful in this. You are not like, you can't be like, looking here and there you have to be very very focused when you are doing this thing there is a negative scoring in this a big warning of this part is that there is a negative if you have selected a 
word which is not a mistake then you will be the part of negative scoring this means if you choose the wrong word instead your score will be deducted therefore you should choose the answer when you are sure about it choose the word for which you are 100% sure what you can do for this strategy is read the text before the audio begins make sure you skim the text place your cursor at the first word and move along with the recording and then also you speak it in your head move your hand along another don't change your selections in the end i have seen students that they do this mistake make sure you don't fall behind if you are not focused in this you will definitely fall behind don't make random guesses in this because there is a negative marking and practice with different clips different authentic audio clips will definitely help you to get your score so make sure you practice them properly it gives scores to your reading portion Let's look at the example of highlight incorrect words. So you will see the instructions. You will hear a recording. Below is a transcription of the recording. As I mentioned, some words in the transcription different from what the speaker said. Please click on the words that are different. You can see there is a paragraph given. Recording was played. I have highlighted all the words which were different from the recording. You have to select in the same way and you'll get the score. If you will select any of the word which was not incorrectly spoken, if you have selected that, there will be a negative marking and you will be losing the points. So this is the criteria for your highlight incorrect words. Another is right from dictation. Right from dictation, number of question is 3 to 4. Marks 46.5. After repeat sentences, this has got the highest marks. Writing 26.8 and listening 19.7. What you have to do basically in there. You will listen to a recording. The speaker will speak a sentence. You have to type that sentence as it is as we do in repeat sentences. So you have to make sure that you listen to the recording carefully. Let's do an example for write from dictation. You can see the instructions first. You will hear a sentence. Type the sentence text below exactly as you hear it. Write as much of the sentence as you can. You have to only write one sentence in there. So we will be listening to the recording first and then we will type in the answer. Now we have heard that and we will be typing the answer now. First letter capital of the first word, start of the sentence. I'll write extra word for being sure of the spelling, write an extra word on the safer side, E capital for English, it's a proper noun. So you can see I got 12 on 12, this is, so this is the same way you have to do in write from dictation, you can write initials, you can understand it and then you can type it. It requires you to type what you hear. Therefore, your score will be assessed how well you write and how many spellings are correct in there. Each correct word will be marked two points. How? One mark to writing and one mark to listening. So you have to make sure your spellings are correct. And the total marks will be based on the number of correct words. Strategies. You have seven seconds to get ready. You can utilize this time for note making, writing the initial of the sentences. Keep focus on every single word. You are not making any kind of error in there. If you find it difficult, if you find it difficult to type and listen, you have a notepad. Make sure always do this. You note down the sentence, you write the initials on the notepad, then you transfer it to the computer or the screen. And when the recording ends, just make sure you are clear. Just start typing. You have limited time in this. Complete listening is of 28 minutes or 30 minutes. You have to very, very focused on the time management. You have to be focused on this. And be careful that you just use the punctuations as well, the full stop question mark. They are not much marked, but you have to make sure that you write them properly. 
One strategy is you can write an extra word with each word. Let's say the sentence is I am happy to hear that. You can write I, he, am, is happy, happiest to hear, heard that. You can write an extra word with each word as well. So this is going to be very important for listening. There are four tasks. Spoken text, highlighting correct words, filling the blanks and dictations that are going to be very, very useful for you and you practice them a lot with these tips and tricks that can actually help you to get your desired score. So this was the complete PTE test course. Make sure you follow the tips and tricks and you like and subscribe our channel for all the updates and I'll be there with some new more videos on grammar and collocations that can actually help you to get your desired score. Thank you so much everyone. We'll see you in the next video.